In this video, we are going to look at the 2020 grade 12 mathematics paper 2 based on the geometric progression. So the information that we have says the first three terms of a geometric progression are m minus 2, m plus 1, and m plus 7. The question continues and says find the value of m. Remember, we have been given the first three terms of this geometric progression as m minus 2, m plus 1, and m plus 7. Now, how are we going to find the value of m? So, to find the value of m, we are going to use the formula that we use when finding the common ratio error of a geometric progression. So, what we mean is we are going to divide this next term by the previous term and equate it to this next term divided by this previous term. So what we mean is eh, we are going to have uh, the next term which is m plus 1 over the, the previous term which is m minus 2 is equal to the next term divided by the previous term. So m plus 7 over m plus 1. At this stage, we cross multiply. So we're going to have m minus 2 times m plus 7. So m minus 2 times m plus 7 is equal to m plus 1 times m plus 1. m plus 1 times m plus 1. Like this. Next, we expand and simplify. So we're going to multiply this term by this other term this same term by this other term. Then this times that, and this same one times this. The same here, this term times this, this same term times this other term, then this times that, the same one times that. So m times m is m squared, then m times positive seven is positive seven m. So we are done with these up here, we come to these that are down, negative 2. So take note, I'm multiplying together with a sign. So negative 2 times m is negative 2m. Then negative 2 times positive 7 is negative 14 is equal to, we come to this, m times m is m squared. Then m times positive 1 is positive m. Then 1 times m is positive m. Then 1 times 1 is 1. Like this. So now let's simplify on both sides of the equal sign. So here we only have one term that has m squared. So we'll just write it as it is m squared. Then these terms have m's so we are going to say positive m minus 2m is positive 5m then this will come as it is because it's just alone then is equal to again here we have m squared then plus 2m because they are both positive then plus 1 now at this stage on the left hand side of this equation you can see that we have m squared also this side we have m squared so if we say we take this m squared to the other m squared, this will change to negative and then to be m, my m squared minus m squared, which will give a zero. So which means that these are cancelling like this. So what is remaining here is 5m minus 14 is equal to, here it's 2m plus 1. Our m is to find m. So on the left hand side, Let's m at remaining with a term that has the variable that we are looking for, in this case m. Meaning we need to remove this other variable from the left hand side. So we are going to do that by additive inverse. This is negative 14. So to remove this, we are going to do the opposite of negative 14, which is positive 14. So what we've done here, we also do it on the other side. So that the equation remains balanced. So we are going to remain with 5m. This becomes a 0 because if say negative 14 plus 14, this becomes a 0. is equal to 2m plus 1 plus 14 is 15. So at this stage, m at remaining with the number alone on the right hand side of this equation. 
So meaning we subtract 2m from both sides. Then 5m minus 2m is 3m is equal to, this becomes a 0, then we'll have a 15. To get a value of m, divide by 3 both sides. So m is equal to 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the value of m is 5. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. Alright, but B says find the common ratio. Alright, how are you going to find the common ratio? Remember, the terms of the geometric progression are m minus 2, m plus 1 and m plus 7. Also remember that we found that m is 5. So since m is 5, for us to find the common ratio, first of all we are supposed to replace 5 where there is m and find the actual sequence progression. So we are going to have 5 minus 2, 5 plus 1, and 5 plus 7, so that we find the actual progression. So 5 minus 2 is 3, then 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 7 is 12. So this is the actual progression. So now for us to find the common ratio, we're going to say R is the common ratio R is equal to the next term divided by the previous term. So we are having 6 over 3, which gives 2. So the common ratio R is 2. All right. The next question says, find the sum of the first six terms. Since they want us to find the sum of the first six terms, meaning n is 6, n is 6, then R, we already found R as 2. Then the first term A is equal to, the first term we're going to get this one, 3. So the first term A is 3. Now, for us to find the sum of the first six terms of this progression, we are going to use the formula Sn, meaning the sum of nth terms of the geometric progression, is equal to a, which is the first term, times the common ratio R to the power n minus 1 over R minus 1. So this is the formula that we're going to use. And this formula is valid if R, which is the common ratio, is greater than 1. If R was less than 1, we were going to use the formula for finding the sum to infinite, which is S to infinite is equal to a1 over 1 minus r. But we are not going to use this. We are not going to use this because our r is 2, which is greater than 1, and therefore we are going to use this formula. So our a is 3, so we are going to have s n n is 6, meaning the sum of the first 6 terms. Then a is 3, so 3. Then r is 2, so 2 to the power n is 6, 2 to the power 6 minus 1, over r is 2 minus 1, like this. So we are going to have 3, don't make a mistake to start multiplying this by that, okay? 2 to the power 6 is uh, 64. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 6 times, then minus 1, over 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so we're having 3, 64 minus 1 is 63 over 1. So I'm going to write it from here because of space. 3 times 63 is 189 over 1. Anything over 1 is uh, just itself. So the answer is 189. Okay, so you conclude and say, therefore, the sum of the first six terms of this progression is equal to 189. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. And also, if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for your support. Goodbye.